Anderson's kick sails to Walker at the goal line. Herschel still on his feet around the corner as Herschel Walker, one man to beat is Anderson. Herschel Walker tripped up from behind at about the 12 yard line. Goal line. So if he would have referred this all the way, it would have been 100 yards. He gets in behind the wedge. He runs right to the wedge, breaks the tackle there. Then when he gets to the outside, it's just a foot race, and Herschel Walker is still one of the fastest guys in this league. Watch your wedge. Here's the wedge. He has to get right in there behind that. You see, here they are. They're going to block here. Herschel Walker says, that's where I want to get. Then you want to get into and through the wedge as quickly as possible. What a start. The last block was by number 56, Randall Godfrey. I've never had a good shot on him, and I've never seen anyone else really get a good shot on him. And he still didn't. Here's Aikman back again. Deion Sanders with flip wide left. Chance Smith for his touchdown. Dallas. From Aikman. Nine yards out. Like you said, he's had a bad knee all season. It's really just held together with a brace. And you see on this play, it's right there. He, he, he just got caught over the guy that he had already blocked to the ground. Just watch him right there. You see, he's going to come back here, come back, come back, and then right there is where he gets it. Tui is a warrior, and he'll stay if he can. Dallas 7, Atlanta nothing. Straight ahead is Anderson, Jamal Anderson. Strong runner, knocked out of bounds by Teague. I'm just going to say, I think they're going to run at Broderick Thomas and Deion Sanders. Hebert with a sneak. Appeared to get the first down for the Falcons. First, and the Falcons are putting a tight end on his side. Hebert just gets rid of it. Good throw to Bert Emanuel. They started off with trips to the right now. They get even on both sides, and this is John Anderson. Into Dallas territory to about the 44, stopped by Darren Woodson. Trips left this time. Hebert goes that direction, gets a man wide open. Darren is Mathis. Atlanta has another first down. Mathis was uncovered. Mathis changes side. Cowboys jump. Hebert can do that very well, too. Hebert has to adjust all his parts. I mean, it's only the first time the Falcons <laughs> have had the ball, but he's too hot just to let go. Third down, no running backs. Hebert fires to Anderson, still on his feet inside the 10. Stopped finally by Fred Strickland. And down here is where they need it. Hebert outside Anderson. Taken down by Woodson. Hebert has Anderson behind him. Again, he throws it out to him. Jamal Anderson to the five. Now, that's not going to do it. On third and nine, you, know, you have to throw the ball in the end zone because, like this, if you complete this pass, you still have to kick the field goal. A good tackler, he just really doesn't enjoy tackling as much as he does some of the other things. But they tried to get one-on-one -on, -one on him, and yep. they got it. And Dion won that one. That's exactly what they had in mind. Morton Anderson from 23 yards hits, and the Falcons get on the scoreboard. To say Darnell Walker, who usually starts at that right corner, isn't even active today. And it's been. Out to a first down. Bigger than the Atlanta front four. Eric Williams was blocking his guy about five yards downfield in that last play. To Michael Irvin from Aikman. Anthony Phillips on the stop. Has replaced Travis Hall. Second and nine. Flag. Aikman finds incomplete. Intended for Irvin. And then went down on his back after that. Second and four. Here's Emmett Smith. Didn't get the first down, knocked backwards by Jesse Tuggle. So he can kind of hide a little behind that defensive line. On third and one. Aikman to Bjorn 
Bjornsson. Bjornsson will get the first down. Stopped by Devin Bush. Fine. That was Jay Novacek in the big flight. Cowboy hand. This is Darryl Johnston. Stopped by Ron George. Yeah, if you run the ball, you want to get behind those fans. He builds them out, too. He's a big guy. Here's Emmett Smith inside the 20 for another Dallas first down. Left size. Was everybody is when you compare him to the Dallas Pass caught by Irvin at about the two from Aikman. Yeah, I think Troy Aikman throws more passes complete to the one and two yard line than any quarterback I've ever known. Yes, the NFL have been taking too many hits this year. Two tight ends set up now for Dallas. It's in the Smith. A flag on the play. He's in. The hands went up from the officials to signify touchdown. Emmett Smith signifies face mask. Yep. If it's a face mask, it's going to be a touchdown anyway because the penalty will be against the Falcons. Dallas, 14-56 left to play in the first half. Bobby Abair. The quarterback for Atlanta. That's Jamal Anderson. Running hard again. Over the left side, stopped by Darren Woodson. Anderson is the deep back behind Abair. Anderson gets the carry again. He gets close to a first down right now for a. Abair has Anderson behind him. Anderson's a big guy. 5'10, 235. Here's Abair. Has caught. By Terrence Mathis. That's enough for an Atlanta first down. First down, Atlanta. Flag against Deion Sanders. Sanders is bumped. But it looks like to me that Deion Sanders has him covered like a blanket yep. there. Bobby Abear saw the back and just hit Deion in the back between the two and the one. I didn't see any pass interference. Back deep. Looking to get out of cover. Does he gets rid of the ball intended for Bert Emanuel. But he was lucky to come out of that mass of Cowboys alive. Get rid of that ball quickly, but every time he gets rid of that ball, someone's smashing him. Well, he had a bad elbow coming in on his throwing arm. That he had drained. Open receiver burden that should have been caught, and that would have been a first down. New Orleans, he has plenty of leg for this one. And he's got plenty of leg to put the Falcons on the board again. It's 14-6. Dallas lead. If you want to watch how to play quarterback, how to throw a football, watch that game. Here it goes. Brock Marion took the short kick. I think old Morton Anderson left all his leg on the field goal because he didn't have any leg there left on that kickoff. I don't. By the way, it was Troy Aikman's first incomplete pass. Here's Emmett Smith and run to run. Down to about the 31. Stop by Phillips. Pounds. Aikman. Incomplete. No fly. Intended again for Michael Irvin. Old field goal attempt from 49 yards. And that's going to get there. And that too is good. 154 by Morton Anderson. 49 by Chris Bonio. Those three areas. 17-6. This is Bobby Abair. Jamal Anderson. The Aflac trivia question again. Who are the only head coaches to win both the Super Bowl and an NCAA national title? We'll see him next week. Jimmy Johnson, who of course was here with Dallas, won two Super Bowls, won a national championship when he was at the University of Miami. Barry Switzer. First down. George Teague made the stop. 
A bear signal for quarterback sneak. Emmanuel will be going motion. No quarterback sneak. That's Anderson. He came up to make the hit, but Anderson got his first down that time. He has it a little easier on this side than he does on the other side. Bob Whitfield's one of the best tackles in the league at the left tackle for the Falcons. Here's A bear. Incomplete. Bert Emanuel, the intended receiver, Kevin Smith, the defender. First and ten, Atlanta, Jamal Anderson, the carry. Jamal Anderson. Flag on the play. Anderson out of bounds in front of the Cowboy bench, but a penalty marker down. Bobby Abair knew it was against him already because he never even came up. He just started to walk backwards, and he's he's back darn near to the 30-yard line now. Holy. Number 86 of the offense. That's the Ten tight yards, end, Lions. It's the tackle. Not too many people do. He calls that a business decision. Yeah. But sometimes you get a big running back coming out there, and you have to make a business decision. You won't get many bigger than this guy. Jamal Anderson gets up to about the original line of scrimmage, 250, but he has a bad shoulder. That's why he doesn't play as much as he used to. Here's Abel. Open is Terrence Mathis, and Mathis is down at the Cowboy one. A Bear just barely got rid of it, and just barely got it there. He was hit by Chad Hemmings just as he was releasing. I mean, you think even if they just you know, took a quarterback sneak, they would have had a better chance, or just give it to Big Jamal Anderson. But they're going to gang up on that. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's the thing with no lead block. You're always going to have a free guy running at your running back. Look like a touchdown. Now they have no running back. This has to be a quarterback sneak. Hey, man. We're going to do that. There was no guy back there. <laughs> hey, Bear sneaks it in. It's 17-12. Metcalf is a man in motion. Anderson's the lone setback. And Anderson's going to get the carry, and he's not getting anywhere. No draw on the goal line will never make a touchdown. Chad Hennings. I don't know. Have a chance on that draw play. He just barely got the ball. Aikman gets to Emmett Smith. Emmett, with a couple of jukes, gets outside the 10 to about the 13. Stopped by Jesse Tuggle. This Falcon organization. Here's Aikman. Kevin Martin dropped the ball. Atlanta has it, I believe. Ron George. Then it is to complete passes on him. They're both playing extremely well. Here's Abair looking. Again, that stop fade. Get Preston, it. roll Preston. These guys are trying to... Bobby Abair is trying to throw the ball to him when they're covered. After this, to the goal. First down. Left to play in the first half. Here's Abair. Look out. Abair has to unload out to Jamal Anderson. It's incomplete. From 32 yards away. That's much longer than his kickoffs, and it's good. Fifth all-time, Morton Anderson in his 15-year career. Third field goal today, that one from 32 yards, and it's 17-15. You need a big play. Three wide receivers. Aikman back to throw it. He is hit thunder. The Falcons have it again. Atlanta. With a glitch, recovered by Cornelius Bennett. Jim McKay is going to come from this side here, and Troy Aikman doesn't see him at all. You see him up on top, 22. No one blocks him. Troy Aikman is looking the other way. I tell you, Tim McKay just puts a clothesline on him. But see, here's McKay coming here, unblocked. Aikman looking the other way. Didn't see Tim McKay coming. Didn't even feel him coming. And now the Atlanta Falcons have the ball on the 16-yard line, and they have three timeouts this time. Fires outside. 
Out of bounds at about the 10. He's going to throw to that side. He's not. He's going in the other direction. Incomplete. Deion Sanders was tested by J.J. Burton. And it may not be a wise decision to go in that direction. Cover corner. Maybe the best that ever played this game. Morgan Anderson hits his fourth field goal from 28 yards, and the Falcons take the lead. 18-17. It could be more. And wet heads when you're no. talking about game one of the World Series. They're having a problem with that, aren't they? Aiden just barely got rid of it, but it's complete to Michael Irvin. 40 pounds on the line of scrimmage when they were hitting Troy Aikman. First and 10. Aikman back to throw. They pick up the blitz. Aikman gets it to Irvin. He was saying to us yesterday, he's been hit a lot. And the ninth time, going to be hit again. From the outside is Cornelius Bennett. And Troy Aikman is really frustrated. I mean, you know, because it's all coming from that left side where they missed Mark Tuane. That time they put Cornelius Bennett out here. Here they bring Cornelius Bennett right here. He's in this. You see, he shifted there. They had Clay Matthews. They just shifted him in late. They didn't account for him. The only guy that could have blocked him was Emmett Smith coming across. By a point. Just got the playoff. Hey there. Middle. Caught. Fumbled. Ball bouncing. Strickland came up with it. And the Cowboys get a break. Yeah, but there's one official back there that's saying the ball's dead, Pat. Right. The deep guy is saying that the ball's dead. Or else. Again, a bear changing the play, and they relay the message to the outside receivers. On the a bear, tripped up, gives the ball to Anderson on the way back, and Anderson will get a Atlanta Falcon first down, running over and bowling over everybody. And that's what Bobby a bear has to do. Bobby underhands it to Jamal Anderson on the screen. Anderson gets the carry, tripped up in the backfield by Leon Lett. Leon Led had about five yards of penetration on that play. Watch Leon Led here. This is the way that you take off when the ball snapped and you get into their backfield. Actually, the man was blocking, blocking Leon Led. Leon controlled him so. Robbie Tobek. Yeah. Falcons lead by a point. Third quarter at Texas Stadium. They bear out of the spread. And out of the pocket. Fell down and recovered. And he's hit by Leon Lett and Broderick Thomas. Tomorrow, John Madden. Cowboys have the ball, and they give it to Emmett Smith. And Emmett knocked out of bounds at about the 19-yard line by Chuck Smith. You know, the Falcons are, are carrying something over in this second half, Pat. It's interesting. They're, they're putting Cornelius Bennett down as a defensive lineman. Big surprise. Yeah, he played very well. Two tight ends. Clay Shiver, one of the tight ends. And yeah, Smith doesn't get the first down. Again, it's Cornelius Bennett right there, number 97. He... That's Dick Scott. Mathis got a devastating block. Makaya. You know who that devastating block was by? Haywood. I think that was Iron Haywood. <laughs> here's the ball carrier, here's the tackler, and here's the lurcher. The lurcher here is Ironhead Hayward. Now watch what happens when he sees that. Because I said you have to get him before he sees you. You see, if you don't see him, Ironhead is going to unload on you. He didn't hurt anyone. Hey there, into the pocket. Gets it to Terrence Mathis, and Mathis goes out of bounds inside the 30. Always stay with the quarterback. You never know what he's going to do in the second half. <laughs> if he can stay upright. To Metcalf, to Metcalf down to the Dallas 21. Second down at the 21 of Dallas. Jamal Anderson. 
surge is inside the 20, and that should be enough for a first down. He's brought down by Leon Lett. Some linemen in, in all the way. Second and nine. Cutler tackles, gets down to about the five before he's brought down by George Teague and Fred Strickland. Mitch Lyons, the tight end to the left of Anderson. Way there. Touchdown. Fred Emanuel made the catch. They got them both down. Hey, Bobby Abair makes a perfect pass there. That's that catch. It is Bertie Manuel. See, it's a roll right, throw right. And he throws it right to that back pylon. You see that? In fact, yeah, here's the touchdown again to Bertie Manuel. And, and did he have both feet in when he has the ball? Right now, he has the ball. Now, this foot has to be down. The right foot has to be down when he has the ball because the next time he steps, the right foot's going to be out of bounds. Left foot, right foot out of bounds. So did he have the ball when that right foot was down? And kickoff sails deep to Herschel Walker, two yards deep in the end zone. Walker's got some blockers in front. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45, 42-yard line. Thinking about next week's business. Well, next week's business is not being taken seriously by the... Michael Irvin makes the catch. First and ten, he's always competitive. Here's it, and back to throw, complete to Irvin. Irvin trying to break away from Tim McKayer, who hung on. That's another Dallas first down. This is what the Cowboys have to do. They just have to get mad. I mean, Irvin split wide to the left this time. Emmett Smith is deep. Irvin looks outside to Johnson. And Johnson gets the Dallas first down inside the 20. Anthony Phillips knocked him out of bounds. You, know, you can just feel, you can feel the intensity in this, in this defense, I mean, this offense of the, of the Cowboys, you can just feel, I've seen it all year, right now in this drive. Open good to Emmett Smith, who's picked up by Lester Archambault. Now comes in motion. This is going to be a pass. Right. And wide open is Michael Irvin. Irvin does not get in. He stepped out of bounds at about the three. Left, it's going to be a pass. Here's Michael Irvin. He he turned poor old Tim McIver. Look McCire. at how much Did you room. See Whoa, look McCire how. McIver was, was running back to the post. He thought it was going to be a post. He was running back to the post, and Michael Irvin was running an out pattern. Irvin. Here's Emmett Smith again, and he flashes into the end zone, standing up. Irvin has six catches. 102 yards, Emmett Smith has three touchdowns. Is there someone else talking to him on this drive? Moose Johnson in motion. Aikman just does get rid of it, gets the two points to Michael Irvin. Aikman hit just as he let it go. Chuck Smith again, number 90, he's not blocked. He comes in from that right side, and he hits Aikman just as he throws that ball. How can you not block him? High score, Atlanta. But Atlanta has the ball at their own 35. Bobby Abair has to beat Demarcus. Abair gets to Anderson, and Anderson gets an Atlanta first down. See, not only of this game, but of the whole season for the Cowboys. Here comes the wave again, and here come the Falcons again. Pass caught by Bert Emanuel. Yep. Third down, about four. Abair to throw it. Going to have time to step up and makes the pass complete to Bert Emanuel. And that should be enough for an Atlanta first down. Yep. Right. Here's Abair backpedaling. Stepping up. Firing. Pass incomplete. Through the hands of Terrence. Terrence Mathis, and again, Abair. Abair out of the spread. Here comes the jailbreak, the screen to Ironhead Hayward. And Ironhead still on his feet, still running over people inside the 25 to about the 22. Abair out of the spread, he gives it, fakes, 
flying head. And throw. Pass is deflected. And batted down. I think Chad Henning's got the hand up. Here's Anderson. He's four out of four today. He is five out of five today. The Cowboys have only had 13 plays offensively this second half. And the crowd urging the Cowboys. This is a big play for their defense. A Bear has lots of time. Look out. He gets it to Hayward. A Bear threw that pass on the way down. Dick Kelvin Martin watches as it sails out of bounds at about the seven yard line. Horton, big, whatever term you want to use, Aikman retreats. Fires outside to Deion Sanders. Sanders ducks under the tacklers at the 25. McKayer is the defender. Stand Cowboys. Aikman back. Blitz coming. Darrell Johnston is a flag on the play. Jesse Tuggle, the rusher. And that's in the area where they call holding on the left tackle. First down and 20. Elvin Martin. Here's Aikman deep. Aikman fires deep. That's Kelvin Martin. And that's enough for the first down. And that's why Troy Aikman's Troy Aikman. He fired. And that's a good way to describe that one. That ball got there to hurry. Motion is Johnston. Here comes the blitz again for Atlanta. Down the middle, Kelvin Martin. Off to the races to the 20. 10. He's going to score. From 60 yards from Troy Aikman. And I'll tell you, this guy, Troy Aikman, he showed it big on these last couple of plays. Boom, he hits Kelvin Martin. Kelvin Martin just runs right through and away from everyone. And you know, Troy Aikman's comfortable with Kmart, they call him. Kelvin Martin. They lead 32-28. Here's what got them the lead. Troy Aikman needed to play. He threw a perfect pass to Kelvin Martin, and Kelvin Martin did it the rest. He may not be fast enough, but nobody caught him. He was faster than any Falcon on the field. Now that is a guy that had to make a play. I said that these guys that make all the money, this is what they get paid for. Third and nine, Atlanta. They trail 32 to 28. Ball at their own 20. Third down. Bobby Bear, all day at quarterback. Fires in the slot. Pass complete to Eric Metcalf. Clock running less than 40 seconds. A pair. Back to throw from behind. Sacked by Shante Carver. Shante turns in the shotgun. Bob Whitfield just didn't get back there. He didn't Tired. get back. He didn't get set up. He didn't do anything. That was a half effort. Back here. He did. Because he knows what to do. Here's Hebert again. Hebert fires up the middle, short of the first down at the 40. To Bert Emanuel. Hebert says, hurry up. Hebert's out. They have to take Bobby Hebert out. They're going to try a field goal. Can't be a five. Oh, no, it has to be Browning Nagel came in. Browning Nagel came, came in. He got a shotgun of an arm, but he won't have a chance to use it. He fumbled. Picked up by the Atlanta Falcons, Jamal Anderson. And the game is over. And they had one more play they wanted to get in, so they ran Bobby Abear off, ran Browning Nagel in, and he was going to try and throw a deep Hail Mary. But what a fight these Atlanta Falcons put up today. Did they ever. June Jones deserves an awful lot of credit. And so does Barry Switzer. 32 to 28, the final score. The Cowboys improved to four and three. The Falcons remain winless 0 and 7. It was a struggle.